Hi beauties, welcome back to my channel. For today the full review of the beautiful skin foundation by Charlotte Tilbury. This full review is wear test included. So at the end of this video there is a wear test, don't miss it. I did a first impression about this beautiful product and if you're curious about the first impressions first, <laughs> then click right here, here. <laughs> What I want to do is half half. So I'm going to do the one side of my face by brush, the other side of the face by Beauty Blender, and I'm going to use two different primers or kind of primer uh, to show you the difference. First, I'm going in with the Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Filter. It is a kind of foundation, but I really like to use it as a primer underneath foundations <laughs> and it, it's something that is possible with this product and if you use it you can see right away a difference on the skin i like to put the foundation with my finger on my face so i am dotting it a little bit like this on the nose i need enough on my nose and this side is by brush. You know, the coverage is okay. I like it, it's medium, so it's not too much. I don't like a very full coverage foundation. This is coverage enough. It gives you that beautiful skin. It is very natural. It feels lightweight. It is nicely blendable. And if you can see what it does to my complexion on this moment, you can see that every redness and every pigmentation is cancelled out. It is really a nice blank canvas to work on. If you don't like to contour, to blush and everything, don't just go out like this. It is really nice. It has something. It is real like skin. It is fresh. It is something that I like. <laughs> so this is the side by brush. And if you want, you can build this product up, right? So now the sides with the different primer. I'm using the Milk Hydro Grip Primer. And I don't use this one a lot, but I just wanted to do this time because I wanted to know how this foundation was reacting. Because it is a full grip primer, right? If nothing sticks to this, I don't know it anymore. What we already can see that it is with this punch, I think a little bit more natural. It's more worked into the skin because we really can push it into the skin. So it's lighter when you wear it than if you do it by brush. Normally I'm not a big fan of a sponge, but in this case I really like it when it's applied by a beauty blender. And that is really surprising me, really, because if you saw my videos, you can see that nine out of the 10 times I will grab to my foundation brush because I really like the application with that one. But with this foundation, the Beauty Blender side is more natural than the brush side. The brush side is more wet and the Beauty Blender is more matte but still glowy. Now you know the difference between application by brush and application by a beauty blender. It looks very natural. I It feels light and 
I am happy with this foundation and I am testing it out now for two weeks now, I think about two weeks. And I really, really like this foundation. But what I even like more is to put on the flawless filter on my face, the entire face. And then only in the middle, the beautiful skin foundation. So the redness is gone, but it is gli uh, gliding to my own skin tone. Yeah, that's really the case, what I love the most, but on this way, full face of beautiful skin foundation is really gorgeous too. I'm back with the wear test. I put on this makeup at nine o'clock this morning and it's now 6.30 in the evening and I will show you everything you can see from the right side to the left, my right, <laughs> that it's somewhere a little bit patchy that it's a little bit wrinkly here at the eye my nose you can see the pores real good it looks a little bit cakey and when i put it on it wasn't cakey at all it was very nice very tight but the oils underneath it is uh, going to play with the foundation but i mean the shiny part of the nose isn't there. I'm only a little bit more shiny between my eyebrows and that is not a huge deal. It isn't that wet that it looks like I'm sweating or anything, but it can be matter than this. And the rest, this side you can see really here where I put my cream based blush and bronzer and contour yeah it was everything was cream on it that is yeah it is a little bit patchy you can still see a little bit of color there but it isn't a lot anymore you can really see the contour that's still there here at my hairline it is really i can see my own skin i can see the freckles and everything you know what i think the lines in my forehead are acceptable it is not in there in in there you know <laughs> so the lines aren't that bad but the lines underneath my eyes it is a little bit of uh like it's cracked and the, the product is, yeah, when sitting in the lines. So that's something I don't like about it. Um, but overall, I think it's nice. But you can see at my nose here that there is one spot because it was a rainy day. I got a lot of rain in my face and some say it is a natural setting spray, but this wasn't a spray anymore. This was more like a shower. So it really had a rain test. And I must say it looks good for something that had a shower on it. <laughs> so there are pros, there are cons. And I think you need to put it on your own face and watch what happened if you are okay with it or not i am okay with this it, it still looks pretty at the end of the day and i never touched it up because yeah i wanted to show you what it does and where it goes this was the full review about the beautiful skin foundation by charlotte tilbury i hope it was useful and if you know if you're going to buy it or not try it or not <laughs> and if you did Please let me know what you thought about this foundation and how it stays on your face and what primer did you use underneath it. I am very curious about your experience with this foundation. I hope you liked this full review and if you did please give it a thumbs up and if you didn't already please subscribe to my channel and I hope to see you next time. Bye!